Hey guys, welcome to my manga pickups video for February 2016. Awesome, awesome stuff to show you guys today. I have a bunch of updates to series I've been collecting as well as one new series to show you guys. And as always, if you want to see my pickups early, you can follow me on Instagram because that is where I post all of my pickups as soon as I get them. So with that short introduction out of the way, let us get started. First up is Volume 5 of Tokyo Ghoul. As you know, I am going to review Tokyo Ghoul, and it will be out within the next couple of days. I know it's just been forever since I've been teasing that review, but I'm finally about to finish the series. I plan on recording my review tonight, edit it within the next couple of days, and it should be out by the end of the month. So yeah, Tokyo Ghoul is a really, really good series. Uh, they've been releasing it every two months here in English. It's a really great series, uh, great characters. It's super dark and violent. I mean, you've probably already checked it out if you were interested, but uh, yeah, you should definitely read it because it is very good. There was actually something else related to Tokyo Ghoul I was hoping to get this month. However, it actually got delayed because it's actually getting imported from another country. Minor spoilers as to what it is. Uh, so yeah, hopefully uh, I will have that for you in the next pickup video. Next up is My Hero Academia, Volume 3, another really great series. Uh, I love how popular it's getting. There's an anime starting up soon. You know, tons of hype. It's a really, really awesome series about superheroes. Uh, you should definitely check it out if you're at all interested, especially if you're a fan of American comics, because uh, this definitely takes a lot of inspiration from those. I do wish the updates for this series were a bit faster, because uh, we're about a year behind uh, the Japanese releases of the volumes now but you know at least we're getting them and I will definitely continue to pick this series up because it is awesome. And next up we of course have volume 77 of One Piece. We are finally getting close to the end of the Dressrosa arc. I believe we have two more volumes left to finish the arc and man friggin One Piece every time I pick up a new volume I just can't believe how long this series is and how consistently good it has continued to be uh, for 77 volumes but you know it's pretty, pretty awesome stuff. I'm really enjoying Dress Rosa right now. I'm not completely up to date yet, but so far it has been very, very good. So yeah, very happy to have the new volume of One Piece. like to stay up to date on this type of stuff, and it's awesome. Next up is Assassination Classroom Volume 8. Now, I have been falling a bit behind on reading Assassination Classroom. I haven't read the past few volumes. However, the other day we learned that Assassination Classroom is actually ending in like a month's time. Now this was pretty surprising to me because of, you know, just how popular the series is. But yeah, the series is entering its conclusion, which is really interesting. So if you check my review schedule down below, you notice that I've added Assassination Classroom to my schedule of full series reviews. Because once it ends, I'm going to read the entire thing. And from what I've read so far of the series, it's really, really enjoyable. Uh, I definitely recommend checking it out. It is great. And I'm still going to continue to pick up the volumes after I read the full thing. Uh, I checked online and it looks like it's going to finish around 20 volumes, which I think is the perfect length for a series like this, uh, so you know it doesn't overstay its welcome. So yeah, I'm very happy to have the new volume for that. Next up, no matter how I look at it, it's you guys' fault I'm not popular. Volume 7. That friggin' title, man, I'm like out of breath now. Anyway, this is volume 7 of Watamote. I'm finally up to date with this series. It did take me a while, because, you know, the series isn't a huge priority of mine, but it's a very funny, enjoyable read, and I really like it. Uh, and the reason I picked up this volume uh, this month is because volume 8 is actually coming out uh, next month, which is exciting, because, like, this volume came out like a year ago now or something, so it has been a while since an update. So, yeah, Watamote is a great series. If you're looking for something really funny to read, then, uh, yeah, definitely check it out. It's really good. Next up, we have the third Vizbig for Veroni Kenshin. Uh, if you have been following my pickups videos, you know I'm going to start getting these uh, regularly so I can uh, complete the series, and then I really, really want to read the series because, my god, guys, I know I get so many recommendations for Vagabond and Berserk and all these types of series that I'm sure are fantastic. But for right now, I really just want to focus on completing Veroni Kenshin because I really want to read it. I read, like, the first volume a while ago, and I loved it. Uh, so yeah, and I mean, Vizbigs are freaking amazing, you guys. Like, like they're so, so, so good. And finally, we have a brand new series that I'm very, very happy to own. Very happy it's out in English. That is... Planet. I didn't actually know this was being released in English. It came out in like November or December or something, and I just completely missed it. I, I don't know how I could have missed it, but yeah, uh... Either way, I, I'm so, so happy to own this greatness. I haven't read it, but do you know why it's greatness? Friggin' Makoto Yukimura, the mangaka of Vinland Saga. 
this was his first big series. So it was first published in 1999, and finally, after 16 friggin' years, Dark Horse released it in English. I don't friggin' know what it is with Yuki Moore's works taking so long to come out in English, but I'm very glad that Planets is finally out. This is an omnibus. It is really good. Really great paper quality. Lots of color pages. Um, it's about 500 pages long, which is really, really good value. It's about, like, the length of three normal volumes, even though I don't actually think it's three volumes of the normal series. And yeah, only one more of these will be released later on to complete the series, uh, so do expect a review for this just because it's not very long and I can easily read it, and I'm very much looking forward to it. It's a series about space, which is awesome. I, now that I think about it, like, I haven't read very many manga series that take place in space, unless you can't, like, Dragon Ball or whatever. But this is, like, about actual astronauts, so uh, that's all I really know about it. Uh, but I'm very excited to read it, because as you know, Vinland Saga is my favorite series of all time, and, I mean, I, I just can't wait to read another work by Yukimura. I cannot wait. So these were all of my pickups for February. Really, really awesome stuff, so glad to own all of this. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. You can leave your thoughts in a comment down below, and I will see you guys in a couple of days for my Tokyo Ghoul review.